So in this video, we're gonna be breaking down the absolute best gear for track from Knox. Right, so you're joining us from Alton Park. Um, there's been a gang of us, hasn't there, Lara? Yeah, but, pretty cool um, gang, yep. Yeah, pretty cool gang. It's been a wicked day, hasn't it? And uh, we've so we've done seven sessions now. It's been probably the hottest day of the year so far. So, yeah, yeah it's been it's been hot, on it? But yeah, but track temperature's good, tire pressures are good. So mm. we've you know good feel, a bit slidey, but workable. Bit, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. And and it's just been awesome, hasn't it? So obviously we've been having a blast. Um, but you know, this is not all a jolly. Absolutely not, no, no. Of course, this is genuine R&D sort of time and so on and so forth. Been testing Knox products and genuinely we have. Uh, so anyone who knows like a little bit about Knox, like track and racing, that's where we come from. Jeff, uh, our founder, was a racer back in the 80s nice. and, and he invented the first armor for motorcycle riders. So, you know, we've always had a hand in making products for people that go on track, racers, stuff like that. Yep. So I wanted to bring Lara into this because while we're just sort of like messing around on track and pretty new into it personally, Lara's a genuine racer and has raced for years as well and, and really has used our products over the years as well. Sometimes, well, definitely in anger and sometimes, you know, not, not in a great way as well. Yeah, pretty much. So the best example I had was um, wearing the Knox Aegis back protector. Okay. So I was at Rockingham and I just high sided it, just coming out onto the oval, just flung me into the air and landed like right on my back and winded myself. And honestly, I just walked away with bruising. It just did its absolute job right from your coccyx all the way up to the back of your neck. It was, it was just mint. I'm just happy I landed in it. Um, it's a, it, it, was, it was good to wear. And then secondly, the scaphoid protection has just served served wonders, absolutely no end. It's probably saved collarbones and broken wrists just because of that, that functionality. So that's um, what I really like about the hand droids. And secondly, I have punched a wall in these as well. So okay. <laughs> yeah, it was flat tracking straight uh, into it. Okay. And uh, again, all that knuckle protection, totally worth it. Well, brilliant. So look, the broad, broad thing is, you know, we make products that work. Um, and they definitely work on track. They've been proven over a long, long history of the company. And, you know, everything that we bring out that's sort of track orientated gets well and truly tested, really. But we have to start with base layers, really, don't we? <laughs> yeah. So we're, we're talking about protection. Now we're going to go into base layers. And they've been a savior today because it's been super hot. It's been it? phenomenal. And, like, Riders are faster and safer when they feel comfortable. Yes. And just having the right kind of underwear or under layer yeah. on is, is an absolute game changer. This is so thin and but mm. breathable and it dries so quickly. Yeah. I now don't really want to race without it. And it's the, it's the movement. So there's a lot of fluidity between your leathers and your skin. I don't know if you ever got hot in leathers mm. and between skin to skin contact, you can't get them off and you can't move around. Mm. But I actually feel like I can flex and move with the bike because I'm wearing it. Yes. Yes, well, I, and yeah, I mean, I guess I would just echo that. I'm a bit more rigor mortis in terms of my body position, um, no, but not too bad, um, not too bad. <laughs> well, I'm working on it. Yeah, yeah. But 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 I have to say, you know, when you're piling the sweat on these du these new dual active base layers are absolutely fantastic at managing your heat. It's been sort of Mediterranean today, the heat, and you know, I took took the base layers off at lunchtime, got into my shorts, left them on the yeah. van for half an hour. Yep. And, and we genuinely got them proper wet because we actually went under a tap and got fully uh, drenched and, and they were dried we within half an hour. We didn't record that bit, different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, but, 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 but they dried really well. And the other thing is they don't really smell as well, which is another uh, big benefit because they've got special treatment within it. So that's the dual active base layers and that, they're, they're the right foundation, yeah. I think. What I also like about it is the cut. So a lot of the base layers have quite a tight neck around them, mm. but it actually cut where it is. It makes it really breathable. So we talked about base layers. Next thing really, and probably the most important bit of kit that we really recommend for using on track is a proper pucker back protector. No brainer. Um, and we've actually both been wearing the Aegis back protector today. Now we do have another option in the track vest, which is effectively, you know, it's a vested version and that's arguably 
a little bit more convenient because you don't need to worry about the straps and stuff and it's a bit easier to clamber on your levers um, but it just so happens we've been using the Aegis um, but the actual back protector itself is the same. Now these are absolutely stand out and, and they they do what they say on the tin. Yeah. You know, it, it, it's, it's, um, they absorb a lot of impact. So if you're going on track, and I think there are still people that go on track that don't use a back protector. Madness, really, absolutely yeah. madness. Um, so, you know, that, that, would, that would be our next level, and you've crashed in it, obviously. Yeah, so the high side happened, I landing on my back, but apart from being winded and really minor bruising, it just dissipated that energy, and that's yeah. why it's worth wearing. Good, very good. And, and then connecting to that, I haven't actually been wearing one today, um, but but you've had your uh, chest protector on, haven't you? Uh, yes, yes, yeah, I have had my chest protector on. So it's a really flexible, form-fitting microwear chest protector. Yeah. And um, it's just it's just supple, so I need it to breathe and move and work in my leathers. But you know, like that um, with your branded products on impact, they solidify. So mm. I feel happier about my rib cage standing a chance if I impact with my bike uh, yeah. or anything else. Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, and, and they, they basically fit uh, connected to your levers. Next thing, um, I don't think you've been wearing them, but I've been wearing armoured shorts. Now, I always wear armoured shorts um, under my levers, and generally speaking, that's because, you know, like hip injuries, like they're pretty, you know, you're going to hit your hips, basically. Yeah, so I always really make sure... Yeah, you land on them. Yeah. yeah, I always make sure that I wear, that I wear um, a hip protection as part of the trooper shorts. We probably need to get you better of these as well, Lara. No, I'd, I'd love, love to try yeah. it. Yeah. And I mean, I've got some uh, padding here, but you can definitely feel that a little bit more protection works. Yeah. And you can tell by um, some of the state of my leathers, when, I, yes. when you slide, you are just, you, often on a low side, you're just coming off the side of the bike and it's straight down the side of your body. So 100% worth having the protection. And a, and, a, and a femur stroke hip injury is massive. I mean, really? I remember we were, we were sponsoring James Ellison at the time when he had his, um, he broke his femur and it was just a, it was a phenomenal injury for him, nearly ended his career. It was really, really bad. And, and he, had, at the time we made a, a special, um, protector that basically covered his whole leg um, because he was very paranoid about it. And actually, if you had to break your femur, you know, there's like a 20% chance of, of death because your femoral artery goes right down oh. your... Yeah, so it's, so it's definitely worth considering hip protection. So, so you know, recommend, recommend looking at that. At least my nuts gloves worked. Uh, next then, um, and, and this is just a little, a little one, right? You know, obviously Knox doesn't make... Um, leather suits you know while we've had these custom ones done we don't make leather suits and we don't intend to either um, but you know upgrade upgrading your armor that's definitely worth considering so were they um shoulder pads or knee well, pads in fact these ones are elbows Elbow pads. elbows yeah, and knees it. yeah so you can get them fitted inside there for more protection. yeah i mean they'll fit they'll fit within your uh levers for example cool yeah you know, we do different sizes to fit different pocket sizes so what you would need to do if you wanted to upgrade your armor is basically measure the pocket sizes of the lever yep. and then you would um you know find the correct the correct size, size to, to 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 fit that and Perfect. that is a really good way of upgrading the protection of your leather suit yeah absolutely you know? without the investment of buying a new set as exactly it were. and and the thing is suits right is that if you don't crash in them they can actually last a long time if you look after them as well yes finally androids oh absolute game changers now the, the, before i even found Knox as a as a fantastic brand it was the the standout look when i was um at a shop in a motorbike shop, I was in the market for gloves because I was about to start racing. And I was just literally looking all the, all the way through and I was like, I want them. So, and I just, I've never looked back. You know, I've, I've, it's just the all round protection and the individual finger splines that really make a difference. And the scaphoid protection. And I've lost track of how many times I've binned it down the road. And just that sliding action has probably saved me collarbones and wrists. Mm. Um, the best bit is they look flipping awesome. Like I think people don't realize that as much, but I just think they look epic. And you know, when you buy in the kit and you make it match and you want to look cool, cool is faster, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's got to buy you a second at least. At least it? a second. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, I mean, you know, when we launched the Android, right, uh, what we said was, um, that whichever part of the glove you were landing on, you were hitting plastic. 
nice. and that's that's true for the for the for the latest variant you know because if you fall off at quite high speed there's obviously a lot of abrasion mm -hmm. and that plastic just helps it just yeah. in the same way that a knee slider does you know yeah, exactly. it helps it yep. abrade and helps the the protect the leather and therefore your hands underneath it i also really like the kind of dialing in yes um, so the, the the boa system works and it's also I quite enjoy the logic of it. You know, when I'm ready to like kit up and I put my gloves in, it's the last thing I do and I just dial it in. Mm. It's kind of a bit of a mantra, you know, that I yeah. really enjoy with the gloves, which is cool. Oh, really that's, that's awesome. So we talked about the best gear from Knox, but just before we sort of wrap everything up, it's very valid to talk about the care that you uh, make for your gear. It's really, really important. It's one thing having like the best gear, the best levers, the best gloves, the best, back protector, all this sort of stuff. But ultimately, we've been absolutely pumping sweat into this stuff today. And if we just put it into a bag, it's gonna be pretty disgusting, I think. isn't it? <laughs> yeah. In fact, I, d I did actually one track day last year and I put my leather suit in, in, in my kit bag and left it there oh, for two no. weeks. And it was genuinely, it was moldy. Oh. Um, so I had to clean it all off and stuff like that. But, you know, we really recommend looking after uh, your products that's it, the environment in which they're going to give the best performance now we've tested some nick wax lever cleaner um, which definitely you need to be doing on your handroid gloves and we definitely recommend doing it on your leather suits as well um, it's got uh, and your boots as well you know because this is like natural materials um, if you're not looking after it properly and the minerals get stripped out of the leather they will just literally just crack and fall apart um, and we want this stuff to last uh, as long as it possibly yep. can, don't we? I mean, it's the only layer of protection between your skin and tarmac. Um, yes. So if it's just worth half an hour of just creasing the seams, working it into it, working on the gloves, sorting your boots out, it's just the, yeah, knowing your kit's ready is just all part of that mental battle of being safe. Oh, I think so. I think yeah. so. And, it, and, it, and if you do, like, we, we'll get customers, just for example, we'll get customers that have had, like, handroids for... 10 years and if they've looked after them they're like so in in such good yeah, nick it's well unbelievable molded, yeah, yeah exactly but on the flip side we can get customers that have had them a few months and if they don't look after them that there can be uh, issues but you know it, it's a natural material you do need to look after it so not to labor the point too much but you know look yeah, after no your gear roger okay so thank you so much for watching we've covered quite a lot We've really have track tested some of the best kit that Knox Harmer have to offer, offer and honestly, I just feel safer, better and faster because I wear it. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you can comment below, please like and subscribe and look out for our next video.